morning, it's the next day, it's like 6 a.m. I had a really bad dream. And I'm ready to go, but I don't know where I just put my phone, and like, I'm trying to find my phone, and now I'm getting kind of irritated. Use the bathroom, feed him, and then leave, you know? Ugh. I'm in Chihuahua, whatever it's called. Um, I'm in Arizona and I was just stopping to get gas because I'm hitting them Cali prices. And this hippie just came up to me and asked me for some gas and I gave him like $5 worth just for the experience. And he's heading to Tennessee and like, y'all, I just drove from Georgia. So I get it. And there's nothing around, bro. Like, he said he's going to see his mom. He had locks. He was a hippie. It was so cool. Pretty sure that's his RV. But, um, I asked if he wanted to be in the vlog and he said no, which is understandable because, you know, like, I get it. You got stuff going on. Yeah. I know I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Don't tell anybody I did that. Year is 2020 when Jada turned 18 Still taking pictures, call her Jay Henley And she moved to Atlanta on her own Trying to build a home She ain't like being alone So she went and got a dog Two weeks later she got in a wreck And now she can't walk it all And she hurt her back so she can't walk her dog At least 30 minutes everybody lived far Alright, we're refueling And we're like a few miles from California Um, we have a problem my check engine light started blinking when I was on cruise control. And come here, Fenty. Started blinking when I was on cruise control. And it started having a weird smell. And there wasn't, come here. There wasn't another thing for 50 miles. So I'm like 10 miles out now. I'm just hoping I can find. I was trying to see if I could get a code reader, but nobody here has one. Don't really want to talk to strangers, but at least I'm in like a populated area, but it's just like trying to find a code reader. There's a little dog area back there. I'm gonna take Fenty to run around. It's Fenty, Fenty come here. You guys pay attention because I just learned something very, very important that I don't think I would have ever learned if I didn't start traveling. If you need to read your codes, and I don't know if this happens to all cars, but I'm an 06. So this is from like 2006 and up. If you turn your key, if you put your key into the, like if you need to get your codes, but you don't have a code reader and you're not close to a maintenance shop, put your key in the ignition, half turn it. So don't like start it, don't start the engine at all. But like activate the battery, half turn it off, half turn it off, half turn it off. And it will show you the codes on the, on the mileage thing. So I got my codes and one of them is the catalytic converter. And the second one is the engine control module detected the engine exhaust gas recirculation valve or sensor is out of specific cation range or its performance has got, gone out of specific specification parameters. Carbon buildup. I'm gonna go in there and ask the lady to ask her mechanic. Hold on one second. Cause I kinda wanna get my car, like I kinda wanna see what's going on with my car real quick. So one second. Second time going through customs. Ah! It's called the inspection station. It's cause I'm ignoring all this dirty. This is all from New Mexico and Arizona. But inspection station. I'm getting pulled over. Getting searched. You're going to inspect me. Should I vlog while I'm getting searched? Welcome to California! 
reached a problem. Two mechanics have no availability. One mechanic needs to see my car to see if she has availability. And there's only three mechanics for 200 miles. So let's go to the mechanic. Because AutoZone said it's a spark plug. I have misfires in my engine and I just don't want to blow up my engine, y'all. Um, so I'm kind of stressed. I'm kind of stressed. People saying I told you so right now don't talk to me but they, they told me I can make it to LA I've got 225 miles left and I'm gonna get my spark plugs changed tomorrow maybe I can change on myself that would be really cool but um, yeah so here we are four hours to go see ya I put the oil like stuff in my car I mean, not the oil, but like the system cleaner. But like, you guys, I'm very upset right now because um, I just got a call from the leasing office and the guest in there was throwing a party. <laughs> and you know, I didn't tell my leasing office that I had an Airbnb. And it was fine, it was going fine until I just got a call saying there was a party. <laughs> And that if they're not out, we're gonna get an eviction. And like, I've got two other roommates on there that, you know, I, they're not in the unit anymore, but like, I don't wanna get them an eviction. And it's just like, okay, so we're taking it, we're taking it all out, right? But like, I took on the $2,400 rent by myself when they moved out. And like, I was making a way and I had people, you know, I, I was making the rent, I was, it was fine. But, you know, I've been traveling so much, so I'm like, I was like, it just, it makes sense to do Airbnb, and I've always had an Airbnb. I, like, I've always wanted to do it, so, you know, I finally, I'm just very over, overwhelmed right now. <laughs> and, like, I've got 200, I mean, um, two hours and 47 minutes left, so, you know, I'm just trying to make it. I put the, um, I was told to put fuel cleaner in my gas my gas tank so I, I went and I, I put fuel cleaner in there <laughs> but I'm just very overwhelmed. Grades have entered the chat and so has Los Angeles. We made it y'all. We made it. We just drove from Atlanta to Los Angeles in three days. Woo! It was a great first two days and today, today has kicked my butt with the car, the Airbnb, and then family stuff I have going on. You guys kicked my butt today. But everyone kept texting me like, just stay focused on your journey. The year was 2020 when baby 